All right, what's up bike people? This is Fossil Fool coming at you from Rock the Bikes Berkeley Workshop. And we're here today with Peter Leahy, grad student at Cal State East Bay, right? Mm -hmm. In Hayward, California? Yes, sir. Cool. So Peter had an idea to do a pedal power project for a, um, what was the nature of the class? It's a multimedia project development class. My thesis. Cool. So he wanted to have some building blocks um, to be able to construct a pedal power system and we decided to open source the computer that's inside the utility boxes that we've been selling for the last uh, six years. So this is one of our completed utility boxes. Uh, if you want these, these are still available. They're nicely made, safe, got the right connectors and everything. A little bit pricey though. If you want to do it yourself, you can now buy this from Rock the Bike. It's called the Arduino. It's the Pedal Power Arduino. So the Arduino is the open source microchip computer that's been taking the hacking open source world by storm over the last decade or so. And the Arduino is Rock the Bike's flavor of Arduino. The Arduino uh, takes its name from El Arbol, which is Rock the Bike's flagship bike tree, art bike, and a lot of the circuitry that we're now using was developed for that project. So that's why it's called the Arduino instead of the Arduino. But you can think of it as the pedal power Arduino. It comes with transistors and resistors that measure system voltage and system wattage and allow you to create your own interactive pedal power system using your own components. This is Peter's generator. Um, what he did was he took apart an old treadmill frame and uh, we measured the system voltage, just determined that it was going to be able to work well with a 24 volt system and wired it up through a connector. When you spin a motor backwards you can produce power. So he stuck a bicycle on, he welded a fork mount to the treadmill frame so that he can get on and pedal. So the next um, important components of the system are the the voltage sink. So this is um, a 24 volt battery. It's actually two 12 volt batteries in series and the amp hour of the batteries is about 30 amp hours each. And so this is about a 600 watt hour load. You can also use an ultra capacitor like this. We use ultra capacitors inside our own utility boxes. They have some advantages over batteries, but they're a little bit pricier. The next important component is your load. And in this case, um, Peter's chosen a 24 volt inverter. The inverter is what you can use to run any household devices ranging from a light to a cell phone charger to a power tool. So what we've got is a source of power, a computer that monitors power, a store, a store of power, and a device. The other important component here is the laptop computer. The laptop computer communicates through a USB cable with the Arduino. You don't always have to have it connected. You can transfer your program to the Arduino and run it without the laptop. But in Peter's case, he wanted to be able to monitor the wattage that people were producing in the moment and that can happen through this display here which is called the serial window and that's something that uh, you can use to read statistics of the pedal power session as it's happening for example how much watt hours have I pedaled so far so with that said I think it's time for a demonstration so Peter if you'll be the peddler um, Laird if you'll step back what I want you to be able to show is Peter pedaling and then the light is going to turn on, and then when he stops, the light's going to turn on. So Peter, give us a demonstration of what happens. Action. There we go. Cool. And light. Light turns on. So pedal power is going through the system. Light was allowed to turn on. And if you come over here, you'll see that there's some tracking display information of the pedal power session, session that shows increasing watt hours. And that's cool because you can track how much power has been created. Now, Peter, go ahead and stop pedaling. And shortly after he stops pedaling, we have a, a program that tells the circuit to disconnect 
the inverter when there's no more power remaining. So we wrote a very simple program that says when pedal power is happening, allow power to be used, and when pedal power is not happening, stop power from flowing to your devices such as the light. So this is a really basic program, but you guys can modify it and take it in your own directions now that we've open sourced it. And if you guys have questions about this stuff, please feel free to call us and check it out on our website, which is rockthebike.com and toll-free 888-354-BIKE. Thanks.